Our next story is from South Africa. It's been three decades since South Africa abolished apartheid, a system of racially segregating black people from white people. The country got rid of it in the 1990s, but the spirit of apartheid is still alive in some places. One of them is Orania, a remote town in the country's north, often called the last outpost of apartheid. Why? Because Orania is a whites-only town. Black people cannot live or work here. Every job is reserved for the whites, every task performed by white people. And yet the residents of this town insist they're not racist. Here's a report. All jobs, big or small, are reserved for white people. But the residents of this town insist that they're not racist. We are from Africa, that's why we call ourselves Afrikaners. We want to remain here. We also want to retain our identity. Now, to retain one's identity is not a racist impulse. We wanted to retain our identity against the English or the British uh, imperialism also, and they're even whiter than we are, <laughs> much whiter. Arania is often dubbed as the last outpost of apartheid, a system of institutionalized racial segregation. South Africa abolished apartheid in the 1990s. But the legacy lives on in Orania. In fact, the township was founded by the son-in-law of Hendrik Vervoord, South Africa's former prime minister, who's considered to be the architect of apartheid. Vervoord's bust lies at the museum in this township, serving as a reminder of his beliefs. As for Nelson Mandela, the man credited with ending apartheid, the people of Arania don't really hold him in high regard. I don't think that I can see him as a hero, um, because he's part of a whole package. He, Mandela, is part of a whole package. And um, as Mandela, all the other leaders within the ANC make a contribution to create some policy um, that is, for, from our viewpoint, not necessarily for the best of this country. Mandela is not a hero, they say. And they're not racist, they insist. So what is this town all about? An attempt to protect their culture. This township is legal as per South Africa's constitution. An article defends its right to self-determination. But Arania's ambitions could soon spell trouble. Because the people here say their next goal is the creation of an Afrikaner Republic, a white-only autonomous region within South Africa. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Welcome back to the Channel Family. Make Africa great again. again. All right, you guys, welcome back. We have a special visitor in the, his house because, listen, we got a juicy topic today. And we had to get a Zulu to come and share his point of view and his perspective of what he thinks. Could you please introduce yourself, brother? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ongadi Mangande. I'm born and raised in South Africa. Of course, we are living in Africa that has got a lot of divisions. This one we're going on today. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm glad that you came and blessed us with your presence because, yeah, it's, it's, we want to now on our channel, we want to put try to get more South Africans perspective on certain things yeah. because I don't want it to seem too Americanized okay so yes. we got a fellow South African here. where are you from exactly from I was, born, I was born and raised in KZN KZN okay I'm from Zulu Kingdom Zulu Kingdom <laughs> hey Chaka Zulu yes yes that, that yes. <laughs> nice nice man. yes all right uh, okay. yeah so today's subject um as of recently, I've seen this uh, town uh, uh, being brought up on the news quite a lot. It's, uh, it's in Orania, the all-white township, township mm. in Orania here in South Africa. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to discuss our opinion and how we feel about um, such division in our country. Yes. And that's why we brought Bongani also, um, so that it's not biased, our opinion isn't biased, and um, we can basically just see how he also feels. I know not a lot of South Africans would necessarily agree with our my stance, his stance, 
uh, Bongani can maybe share. How do you feel? I showed we so we showed him a clip of um, this news township uh, 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 that wants to preserve their culture, but they're saying they want to preserve their culture. So pretty much, you want to ask you as a born and raised South African, as a Zulu, how do you feel about this township being here in South Africa? Uh, the town called Oranya is the white only town that is inside South Africa. And all South Africans, I think a lot of politicians, they are well aware of, of such town. In my opinion, I think it's just a maintaining of racism and racism, uh, what you call spirit, mm. uh, to feel making uh, black people feel intimidated by the white people. Mm. Exactly. In, 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 in my point, uh, our fellow black politicians they are taking this thing for granted and it's growing as they marketing themselves, coming up with their own currency, coming up with their own rules, coming up with all these racial divisions and all the in their town. To my, to, my, to my opinion, when they don't end now, it's gonna be too late when, it, when, 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 when that, that town expands. Mm. We don't want mm -hmm. in Africa white people to promote racism among ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have fought and we have lost a lot of people in bloodshed. There's a lot of massacres that took place in this country, but today we've got a white town that even tell people about themselves that's who we are. Mm -hmm. It's not about blacks fighting white, but it's about making sure that Africans and white and all other races that live within Africa. They understand each other and they live in mix. This is Africa, it's not Europe. Yes. And they call themselves white. You mm -hmm. understand? You cannot come to Africa and create your own state and be a boss in the middle of Africa. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm. Yes. And, and racially uh, 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 present yourself to Africans, the indigenous people of the continent. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. You understand? It's an, it's an insult to all Africans. That are, we're yes. just looking at it and then because as Africans, we've got a great heart, as we, as we are known. Mm, White mm. people came to Africa, we welcome them with our great heart. They've been living with us for so many years with our great heart. And we hear they've got, a, they've, they've got Orania, that they've, they've established that they, they, they're living there and they, they are the only ones that are living there. That great heart is still killing us. Mm -hmm. Sooner, the better to understand what exactly they are doing. Yes. And dismantle whatever they're doing. We cannot have racism being promoted while we are still alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've lost a lot of people to this. Yes, mm. yes, that's true. The history of black people in this country is not good. We are suffering. Mm. We're suffering as, as, as black people here. But it all looked like, you know, uh, 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 blacks are now managing men, they are now governing the country, things are, go are going right, but they still mm. white people that are manipulating them. Yes, yes. Well, listen, I'm glad that he shared his two cents in it because we wanted to get his opinion because sometimes you guys say that us Americans are biased or we don't really know your history. So we wanted to get your opinion. I appreciate you setting your light and your opinion on the matter. And I just want to throw my two cents in and then you can go, babe. Uh -huh. Is this, as you guys know, it's very insulting as an African American because we tried, as I share with you, brother, we tried to start a township like this in America. It was in Oklahoma. It's called Black Wall Street. You can Google it yourself. And when we started this township, the whites got mad. They 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 made found an excuse to make their way into our township because of one guy who they who they said committed a crime, who they arrested. But that wasn't good enough for them. They had economical envy mm -hmm. because we had our own banks. We had our own. Uh, 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 restaurants. We had our own grocery stores. It was a black Wall Street where everything was owned by blacks. Mm. And what happened was the whites in Oklahoma came. It's called Black Wall Street. Please look it up. And they burnt everything to the ground. They killed many black innocent people. They burned the township to the ground. And as blacks, we've tried to start our own townships in America and they never allowed it to thrive. So for me, I, I find this like it crazy and saying that, that they feel like they can do this in Africa and that nobody's even going and really challenging them yeah. and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying from a perspective of an American, we've tried this in America as black Americans and it's never really worked out for us. Yeah. But I'm curious to hear your opinion on the matter. Um, what Bongani said, it just touched me so much. It made me so emotional because, um, you know, 
as South Africans, we've been forcefully removed from our lands, you know, and we've been unable to produce our own, have our own land. Like I, my family um, was victim of that, you know, we could have been thriving on our lands, farming and doing things for ourselves. And I also wanted to touch, Bongani was very, it, 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 it just struck me. It almost brought a tear to my heart, to my eyes, because um, it's, it's, it's literally, it's an insult for us as Africans. This is, this is South Africa, right? And they, a lot of South Africans would call themselves, we call ourselves uh, the Rainbow Nation. So um, that literally, it doesn't, what they're doing there in Orania, that doesn't equate to what we South Africans want to say we are you know what I mean that is a lot of division and that's what essentially we had a we had a subject where Mr. Go Black was on our channel and we we're talking about creating our own we're not saying that we need to go somebody on our channel uh, commented that we are saying people need to go back and live in a hut in mud houses and live like uh savages no we're just talking about like creating our own like these people are doing right now they're thriving um i read also that they're they have their own solar system they're they power they are powering themselves they're uh farming for themselves they have their cattle you know their sheep their things like that they have their own church they have their own banks and stuff like that so that is essentially that what we were saying, what we as Africans need to do for ourselves, build our own communities, African communities, where we are thriving, you know what I mean? But it is an insult for me um, as a South African to see how these people are literally uh, running their own, they have their own government too, right, Bongani? They have their own government, they have their own currency. They yes. Have they have their own everything. Yes. Yeah. So, and then we don't have a problem that they have their own everything. They are yes. farming, they do all of their things. Yeah. But if you say a black person is not allowed there, allowed there, that's an that's insult. where now the problem starts. Yes. You cannot isolate a black person in Africa. Mm -hmm. This color is dark, and this color represents this land. This ground. And the land I'm talking about is Africa. I'm mm. not going to go to Europe and try to establish my own town. Yes. I'm not allowed to go to yes. Europe and do that. Yes. So why somebody can have to have to, have to leave Europe and come here? Exactly. A sector comes and, and, and try to tell the people uh, how, how they will be living in, 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 in people's land. Yeah. It's yeah. An so now my, but now my question is, do you know their stance? Their stance is they are doing this not racially motivated, but to preserve their culture. Are you buying that? That they're doing this to preserve their culture? The thing is, every person that living on this earth has got its own its own culture. Mm. The thing that you have to understand, as she, uh, Nicole just explained, we have called ourselves a rainbow nation. When as a country and we embarked on that, we understood that there is Indians in this country, there is colored in this country, there is blacks, there is all some sort of races, races. So in order for us to live in peace and harmony, we have to get together. So now when you have a specific race that says we are protecting our country, mm. is that is, is that culture a threat to who? Who want their culture? Exactly. <laughs> we are more exactly. cultured in Africa when great, with great culture that we have exactly. than us chasing uh, another person's culture. What is so special about that culture? Yes. It is special to them. It's not that I'm insulting their culture. As Africans, we, as Africans we respect. It is special to them. But they must teach their children and learn to live with others. Yes. Don't promote yes. Racism among uh, 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 around black people. Yes. In, in, in South Africa, actually, there's a lot that is happening that people around the world don't know about. Mm. There's a lot that's happening. It's just that black people have got a great heart of mm. welcoming and we are still welcoming today. Mm. That's our mm. big to, problem. To a fault. To a fault. And what I want to say is that I know that's hypocrisy, them saying that it's not racism and it's to preserve their culture. Because what they even acknowledge is that they don't even acknowledge the black presidents who are now in office. Yes. They, since Nelson Mandela has come in office, they won't even acknowledge, acknowledge him. him. So you can't tell me that you're trying to preserve culture. You clearly have a different agenda that you're going about. Yes, but yes. I'm going to ask you, do you buy that they're trying to preserve their culture and that they're just doing this to preserve their lineage? Um, for them to preserve their culture, I feel like they need to go and do it in their land where they're from. 
to preserve your culture when you are in somebody else's home you respect their home you know what I mean you actually try to learn their culture you try to you, you try to come together with the natives so for you to come here to somebody else's home and try to preserve your culture you are at fault and you are like he's saying they're teaching their children racism because their children are now being raised and and, and that, that 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 community is expanding they have over 2500 people and it is growing by the day now listen i want to ask both of you fellow south africans they claim i've met whites who claim that this is their land as much as it is your land they feel like this land that south africa wouldn't be as developed it wouldn't be as great as it is if it wasn't for these whites i have met them you know what i'm saying so what if they rebuttal back to you saying that this is their land as much as it is your land in a in a world where we are accommodating everyone and we are not speaking harsh to them we say it's our land mm. and even when we sing our national anthem, we do also specify it our land including all four races that are living in South Africa. But as per geographically, it, it's a land for the blacks. You cannot argue about that. Yes. Yeah. Whether yeah. they brought big flats, they can carry those flats and put them in a ship and go with them and, and, and refill them in Europe. Mm. If they yeah. are bringing that, 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 that. The reason they were able to, bring, to, to build, it is because we accommodate them. Yes. Mm. They came up with their own mind on how they live in Europe and then they brought it. And then we welcomed, they did whatever they yeah. wanted to do. Mm. And it does not mean we were dumb. Mm. We were not dumb yes. at all. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad he said that. Yes. Because yeah. they, they try to insinuate that when they make that comment. Yes. No, as people, we evolved. And as African people, we would have evolved. We would have built our own. Look at what they did in Egypt. Look at how the Egyptians were evolving. We would have evolved eventually. So, yes, they may have come with their architecture and stuff like that. But we would have been able to produce that for ourselves. Yes, we were not sleeping in trees. Exactly. We were sleeping in houses. Yeah. Mm. Where yeah. were we sleeping when they when, before they came in? We yeah. had our own shape of houses. Yeah. Who, who gave us that architect on how we must design a house like that? Mm. Exactly. It, our, it was our very own mind. Mm -hmm. We had our mud our, our mud houses. They were very strong that we were living on. Yes. Mm. And yes. we were evolving. We were going forward yeah. because yeah. they also had mud houses in Europe. Exactly. And mm. you understand? So don't don't pretend as if it's just that when they came with their system, we were quickly to accept it. Yes. Mm. And to welcome it and say, mm. okay, guys, we are here. It is our land. Do whatever, do what you want. But we did not know that we were shooting ourselves on the crew. Exactly. Mm. Well, I want to ask you this, Bugani. By the way, me and the, 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 the Nubian queen, Nikki, we plan on going to this township. It's only a matter of time. We're going to go there. Are, are you okay with going there? I'm okay with going there. Um, but I, I feel like I need to mentally prepare myself. It is going to be very um, sensitive. Well, I plan on going, and I want to ask you, Bugatti, would you be fine with going to this township? Because why, let me start by saying this. We get a lot of comments from South Africans sometimes attacking us and saying things. To my fellow South Africans, the fight is there. You need to go to this township. You guys need to, to express how you feel because, like Bugatti has stated, if you guys don't nip this in the bud now, <laughs> then don't re wait on your government to do it. You have to do it. When they burnt down our town at Black, Black the, 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 the Wall Street, Black Wall Street, the government didn't do it. The people, the citizens did it. And I'm not suggesting that you guys go burn their towns down. I'm suggesting that we need to go there and show our faces and, and, and not be afraid to, to step on their land and to challenge their ideologies and the way of thinking. Yeah, Africans are not barbaric. Yeah. We, 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 we are a peaceful people. We've never massacred any white person mm, in this country. Mm. We welcome to them and we give them land and we give them food to eat. Yeah. Because when they came here, they didn't come with food. Mm. The first food they ate, it was from us. It was planted by us. Mm. You understand? Mm. But they were able to oppress us in a, in, in a, in a later stage. Yeah. Why, 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 what came? Africans are the great people who could ever find it around, around the world. I yes. agree. Yes. And, to, and too loving and too kind to yeah. a fault. But would very, you be fine? Kind. Would you be fine with coming to this township and, and voicing your opinion with us <laughs> um, go, 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 going into this township like as a south african and as a, as a proudly south african with south african with pride 
it doesn't add value for me to go there mm, mm, uh, mm. to be very honest yeah. i just look at them whatever they're trying as as, as minor people but mm. i can go there for the sake of showing the world what the white people are doing yeah. Well, that's what I plan on doing. I plan on going there. You, you're gonna come too, cause I need you to speak their language. I plan on going there sooner than later to expose this township. And listen, Bugani, we appreciate you for you being on the channel and shedding your two cents. Thank you, Bugani. It was a blessing. Would you like to say anything to your fellow South Africans or any American women that you say you wanted an American wife? This is your chance to maybe <laughs> say something to them. No. Is there anything you want to say? I said. I'm an African and I call I carry the true uh, genes of an African. Mm. Yes. And not that I'm desperate, but if I go to America, I will marry a, a black American a woman just to give uh, my genes uh, yes. to my African woman so yeah. that we can we can have a, 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 a United a South African and, 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 and a black and a black American. Yes. yes. Why not? <laughs> and teach them the culture. And yes. and give and give them the culture. Because yes. I am a, I'm, I am a cultured person. You can see me. I'm a cultured. I'm a, I'm a deep rooted person. Yeah. Yeah. A deep person and a cultured person. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But we appreciate you. Is there anything you want to say, baby? Um, I just wanted to also um, thank you for tuning in and for always, you know, watching our videos, sharing our videos. Thank you to the new subscribers. Uh, thank you for the support. Also, the people who don't like us that much, we love you so much. Thank you very much for all the support. All right, family, that is the end. Take care and let's come together and make, make Africa, Africa great, great again. again. Yeah. <laughs> we out. Take